Kia ora and welcome back to the Rotorua International Stadium for the second game that we're broadcasting on Sky Sport next. This is the Super 8 Grand Final. It is between New Plymouth Boys High School and Hamilton Boys High School. The Super 8 Football Tournament presented by Sky Sport next. Very good morning to you. My name is Nigel Yolden. Joining me again, the former captain of the Rotorua Boys High School First 15. That is Alice Breadmore and we are ready for the final. Two teams that have work their way through this very competitive footballing competition. So we see the Hamilton line up there. A few players to keep an eye out for Blake Wisniewski, who's got a massive motor on him. Direct quote from the manager. He'll be a gentleman to look out for in jersey number two. But they've got really good experience. They're led by Campbell Brown in the number five jersey. And also as well, some lovely talent with some very good uh, individual skill. A guy like Leslie uh, Kovalin is a man to keep an eye out for, apparently very good with ball at feet. But as you can see, they've got a, a very good, experienced lineup, and they're, they're building nicely. I say experienced, they are still actually quite a youngish group, but so much experience that they are able to glean through the likes of these tournaments and others that they play. They've had an interesting run through, two draws in pool play, including against their opposition they face today, and New Plymouth boys had a good 5 0 win over Hastings. Won the playoff yesterday against last year's champions. That was Tauranga boys by 2 to 1. Team just breaking on the left of your screen is New Plymouth boys high school. This is the team that was beaten in the final last year by Tauranga boys 4 0. And they too, good, strong unit. They have rolled through yet to concede a goal. In this tournament thus far, 2-0 win, 6-0 win, a nil or draw against Hamilton Boys High School, then a 1-0 win yesterday over Palmerston North Boys High School in their semi-final. It is New Plymouth Boys in the white, Hamilton Boys High School, they wear the red with the black shorts. Your referee is Andreas Castro, and we are underway in the final of the Super 8 football tournament presented by Sky Sport Next. And straight away we see the Plymouth boys trying to work their way down this left-hand side. So this is a team that finished runners-up last year to Tauranga boys. A 4-0 loss in that final, but they've managed to bring back eight of the squad from last year and looking to go one better. Both these teams having had good success in this tournament. New Plymouth boys having won it on two previous occasions in 2000 and 2015. Hamilton boys high school though, they have been the dominant team of the last decade. They first won the tournament back in 2002, but then won in 2010, back to back in 13 and 14, won again in 2016 and 2018. And seeing if the two year gap continues to kick off this new decade of Super 8 football. They finally get onto the ball to Hamilton boys. Is Tobias Hughes in the number eight jersey. This is the man to keep an eye on. This is Abdi Adam. The uh, strong leaders at the school in terms of uh, the cultural side of things. Abdi. So good, strong challenge. And here's a chance for, Nate, New, for New Plymouth working down that left hand side. It's a good, strong Great tackle strong by tackle. the man that we were. Told has got the motor. His name is Blake Wisniewski. And so early opportunity though for New Plymouth Boys High School in the white. And trying to get that ball in. That's Scott Manning. And so a corner. In favour of last year's runners up. So as I say, Two draws, two wins for Hamilton boys. Three wins and a draw for New Plymouth. And they played a stalemate. And what was a very tight encounter in poor play. And they meet again. Shooting that ball is whipped in and coming out at all. That was Dangerous Connor there. Jamison coming out very aggressively. It's away with it. Here's the Hamilton boys' high keeper. Trots away to pick up the, the ball. You have to say thank you very much to Lotto. 
associate sponsor, providing all the match balls for all the games in this particular tournament. We saw the 7th and 8th playoff between Napier and Gisborne go to a penalty shootout. We saw earlier Rotorua Boys High School, the host team, with a 1-0 victory over Hastings Boys High School. There's Jamison to restart us. Flicked on, on there. there was Jack Miles trying to flick that one on. Trying to work that one back. Maybe socks starting to get down around the ankles. Here is the throw in. Campbell Brown, who was the captain. Good long throw in as well. Battling. Hands on, a little bit of a collision there. It's interesting nice to touch. see early on that uh, Hamilton are overloading that left side. Yeah, but was, <laughs> pretty much everyone stacked yeah. across to the left hand side as first free kick of the game given by our referee, Andres Castro. Good, good long longer. searching ball. Jamison's out. He's out quite high. First shot is wide. He's not backwards and coming forwards as Connor Jamison for the second time. We see him come out. You see. Something that New Plymouth needs to keep an eye on is how high the keeper's coming off his line because it could be a chance to exploit that and put a ball over his head at some point. Number 10 you saw on screen there was uh, Ethan O'Halloran with the shot. His father is the manager of the, the team, and that's Jason O'Halloran. And those people who know their rugby will be familiar with that particular name. There is Wisniewski on the ball as Hamilton Boys High work towards that right-hand side. Ball is uh, out, and it's going to be a throw in for Hamilton. So, Hamilton very much dominant through that last decade, winning five of the ten titles up. There's been five teams of the eight that have won the Super 8 title. Hamilton Boys High School have won six. A win today would see them draw level with Palmerston North Boys High School. They've yeah, got seven victories. That ball's hacked away by Wisniewski. It was Nesky, excuse me. New Plymouth, as I said, they've got the two victories. Tauranga boys have won four. And Napier with two victories. So it won't be a new champion, but a chance for Hamilton boys to draw level with Palmerston North. Palmerston North had a super team. They had a run there. I think they won four in a row yeah. in the early 2000s. And at the moment, they are doing battle with last year's defending champions, Tauranga Boys, on the number two field. Big against watch that one. I think we could watch all these games <laughs> at, at once, it would be great, but we will concentrate on this one because this is the final. Tyler Bork, the goalkeeper for New Plymouth, great restarting. Looking forward, nice control off the chest, but driving through again is that man, Wisniewski. Set the play down that right wing side. And Plymouth cuts it back to the centre. Nice, nice pass in there. <laughs> well, I can see what manager Stu Hackney was saying about Blake and his engine because already we've been going all of around about six and a half minutes. And he must have touched the ball well over a dozen, half a dozen times already. It's been Key touches as well, They're stopping their strike, of getting in one on one with his keeper. A lot of, lot of energy, of course. This is a final. A lot of prestige comes with winning the Super Eight. So, yeah, wonderful concept for those who weren't part of our broadcast earlier on this morning. Formed in 1997, and it's the eight schools, two that you are seeing at the moment: Rotorua Boys High School, Hastings, Napier, Gisborne. Tauranga Boys College, Palms North Boys High School. They play all manner of sports as that's driven back upfield by goalkeeper Bork. Very long kick. It's taken down. It was hacked away and once again they're pushing and it's going to be a line out throw for New Plymouth. Played across a number of sports and also cultural activities as well. Here's the throw by Jack Flood. Flood gets the ball back. We'll have another oh. throw in. Movement. Looking, trying to create. They found the gap. No, cut out nicely by 
The Hamilton defence sliding in, making that tackle as, or trying to get the ball in, I should say, is Adam. Ball played back, and Flood will have another line out throw. Again, looking for Tay. Can't get it. Adam clears that ball. Here's an opportunity. Good chance here. Trying good to work there. through. That's a good ball coming through for Williams. Ooh. Play on, says the referee's happy with the challenge. Just gotta be careful with those. There's another work, but slight tackle hard well. tackle going in there. But too hard, says referee Castro. <laughs> just off the elbow. <laughs> A little bit of grass early on, just get the feel for things. Hamilton go quickly, looking to that right-hand side. And that ball again is Dylan Williams. Ball pushed out. Put in dark in jersey number, and shirt number 14. Bork Good takes match. that cross quite comfortably with two hands. And chance now for New Plymouth to push forward. Good to see that both teams are pushing forward very strong early on. Got four from New Plymouth and three for Hamilton boys at all times. Well, Hamilton looking to play four across the back. In sort of a bit of a mix, oscillating between sort of a three in the midfield, three up front, occasionally dropping back one. The way they like to try and play. Here's another good bit of hustle, but just lost that control, did Oscar Varno. Jersey 12 is Oscar on your screen. I say to go through the tournament not conceding a goal would be some feat for New Plymouth boys. I'm sure Hamilton will want to try and put a wee dent on that clean sheet. Thus far, as I said, 2 0 win over Hastings, 6 over Rotorua, nil all. This corresponding fixture is here's a ball a out ball wide. There. Adam hustling after it. Can he keep it in? Oh, no, he can't. Good hustle. Oh, no. Oh, referee says that's fine. Here's an opportunity for Adam. Gets that ball in. Just hacked away. Oh, sitting, pushing, shunting. It's going to be a line out throw. Tobias Hughes. Let's try and find Adam. Sorry, no, that's not Adam. Excuse me. It's Kivalon. Like ball there. Nods that one on, does. Be careful here. Fear, but it's in nicely by Good Plymouth. A move around. Brown. That's nice work by it's Campbell great, Brown to recovery. get himself out of dodge. That's super work. And turned in. Williams. First touch. Here's another opportunity. Is Kivalin gets it out wide to Adam. Abdi looking at his options. And about goes inside to Hughes, and he does. Hughes wants to push this one back to McCracken. It's kind of McCracken and Juicy in shirt number 16. McCracken again on the ball. The turn under a bit of pressure here, though. Good press. strength showing. New Plymouth come away with it. Driving across, shoulder from Hamish Fear. Ball stays in play down that right wing side. Back um, New Plymouth again. You just sense Alice a little bit, a little bit of nervous energy being expended in this opening ten minutes at the moment. It's a yeah. bit back and forth. Actually, closer to twelve. Excuse me. Yeah, definitely. Um, in a final, you never want to be the first team to concede, but you also want to be the first team to score. So you've got to find that mix between defending and attacking. Um, yeah, like I said, no team wants to push everyone forward and then concede a counter-attack goal. But um, it's, it is good to see that we've got strong attacks going against each other and both teams are fighting for that ball. Throw in, far side of the field. Glorious day, the cloud is burnt off. Just the odd puff of white cloud above. Both through international stadium. Glorious day for any sport. Luke Stenning is one of the men operating down this right hand side. Where you see the shot of Abdi Adam. There's the goalkeeper, Connor Jamison. It's going to be Jack Flood for New Plymouth. 
finding. There's a good opportunity for Wano on the ball as Oscar looking, probing. And now here's Stenning. Look for the cross. Didn't quite hit it right. And it's going to be a goal kick. So, yeah. Defences just trying to hurry the attackers a little bit more. Trying to close down that space. Jamison. Just takes it short. As Hamilton looked to build from the back. Hear the chat coming through the effects microphone. Wisniewski. Push the ball out wide to Brown. Jamison has to hustle. It's a good clearance away. Strong challenge. Work their way through. Off the chest nicely. Oh, I think that might have yeah. been going through. No, that was actually a bit of illegal Kieran. blocking there. Deegan, yep. Physical, this. <laughs> Abdi, Adam, very apologetic as <laughs> is Abdi. Smart man, knows not to get on the wrong side of referee Andres Castro early on. This is Kieran Deegan on the ball. Strong, just very pumps it up. Here comes Jamison again. No one in the goal at the moment. He's got to be careful flying out like that. Could catch <laughs> a player and give away a penalty. <laughs> I just love it. I mean, I was a very, very ordinary goalkeeper. <laughs> Uh, and not to the level that these gentlemen are playing. But goodness gracious, me, I just love the confidence. <laughs> yeah. Is it a, a great quote as he comes? Hamilton boys high down that right wing side. Kivalin on the ball. That's great defending there. Very good defending. Back by those Control is perfect speed well. of Kivalin. It's causing him a bit of hassle. So like um, you Plymouth boys working down that. Left wing side through Scott Manning. Oh, comes back. Ball. That's a great ball. That's a great through. ball. Here's an opportunity for Hamilton. Flicking it over. Just oh, wide. Just. Oh, great counter-attacking. Great through ball. Just outside. The right hand upright and the clean sheet remains, but only just. It's a super ball. Kivalin it was. It's great work from the attackers there to be ready and waiting for that loose ball. And as soon as they see it, they're gone through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. It's Kyan Jones. With the opportunity. It's a real good opportunity of this match. Just on the 16-minute mark. With boys. Now they're trying to have a shot off great the crossbar. Wow. That's ah, very unlucky there. <laughs> Just like that. Two guilty opportunities there. Wano can't quite get the control on that. And Adam gets the ball away. Kovalin charging through. And that ball again is taken by the Plymouth boys. Manning. A little loose ball there. They zigged when they should have zagged. Adam looking to punch that ball through for Kovalin. I can't. And driving through from the back. They find Wano on the ball. Oscar looking away to his left hand side. Cross comes in. It's not it away. That wasn't really like that Kovalin. long ball. Yep, they do. And it's, it's working out. When well, it's like that. Got the cutback available as well. See that one person sitting pretty much where the referee is now, though. They have to re take the ball back to halfway and build again. Kovalin. That's a great play. Into play. Can he pull that ball back? He can. Still in as well. Still stays in. Big big open ball the here. feet of Hamilton boys. Driving across. That's a, oh. Fantastic touch by the defender there. That was Williams again trying to flick that one. Here's another shot coming in and it's just wide. So just in the space of three minutes. Three good attempts for Hamilton boys and bit of end to end stuff. One one rattling the crossbar from New Plymouth boys. And look, it's Williams getting that ball back and side footing it. Just past that upright. No score. Something about Wisniewski. 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 
Niski, excuse me. I'm thinking of the old New Zealand cricketer whose name was spelt similar, but that was Wisniewski. This is Wisniewski. Good opportunity here. Get him on the ball, flicks it back. Hamilton need to clear it, and they do desperately so. You have the Adams hustles after it. Just going back to, to Connor Jamison and his, even though he's been very confident in what he does, remember the comment of, of Bowden Barrett. It was a case of make a decision and commit to it. If you get it wrong, you get it wrong, but yeah. commit to the decision. And that, you've got to say, Connor makes a decision and he commits wholeheartedly to it. Yeah. Uh, it, that's the sort of stuff that pays off because every other time that's going to go into his hands and he's going to look like a fantastic keeper. Just the one out of, t out of ten times he's going to miss that. But it didn't pay for it, so it's worked off well for him. It is indeed. That's what you like, just the, the commitment to the decision. And what we're seeing again is this play coming down this left-hand side from Hamilton Boys. Williams. Good little touch That's there. a great touch back from Button Dark. Can he time this one in? No, he's going to switch back onto the right foot and hooks it and didn't really time it well. Great defending there. Down on the knees, in the chest, but... Hands behind the back to avoid any penalties. Adam in there. Oh, he's over nice. <laughs> Gets congratulated by Abdi. It's nice work, my man, he says. Nice work indeed. Spoke about this in the game we did earlier, the early game starting at 8.30. Won by Rotorua Boys High School. The, the camaraderie that you see between these two teams. Yeah, they'll play hard. They'll play tough. Yeah, you... It's a wonderful spirit showing in these Super 8 competitions. Got a bowl there. At the moment with more opportunities. Outside there. Wisniewski. Flag stays down though. And it's going to be for a goal kick. As it was Dylan Williams searching out that ball. So 20 minutes gone in this one. They play 40 minute halves. The earlier game was played. 2.35, this is two 40-minute halves. If we are tied at the end of regulation, there will be extra time played. And if they then still cannot be split, we go to a penalty shootout. We've already seen one penalty shootout in the playoff for 7th and 8th. Up on the top field at the Rotorua International Stadium. So glad that you're with us. This is the final of the Super 8 football tournament presented by Sky Sport Next. We have to say as well, thank you to our associate sponsor, Lotto. They're providing the ball currently at the feet of Leslie Kovalin. Nice cross. Good defending, though, again by New Plymouth. Williams, tough first touch. Went down under the contact of Luke Stenning. You see those two young men, Stenning in the white, Williams in the red. Jersey uh, shirt 17. This is a deep ball situation for Hamilton boys. Campbell Brown is their skipper. He's going to take it. He's waving, waving off. Kind of McCracken says, no, I've got this. Drives it in good low. That's a good cross. But they kept it in. No, it's a goal kick. The ball's quite dangerous. They've got to remember that one because they can catch defenders off guard because they're usually expecting a, a nice high whipping ball. So that's something like that. It's dangerous. Plymouth could even even share. Hamilton's probably done more with their ball, but New Plymouth have been effective as well. Here's something good cross, Jamison. That's a great save by the keeper. Just a little touch out of the attacker's path. Back there's Williams back, and it's just going to be hacked away. Plenty of opportunity here for Flood. Flood's going to push this one in. Big up and Manning gets it onto the left foot, but it was a foul. Your referee, Andres Castro. And we restart through fear. Wisniewski. Looking down. Another turnover by Hamilton Boys. A great tackle. And he's even got the throw in as well. <laughs> he's got that look about him. There he is. That's Blake Wisniewski. Not going to miss him with those orange boots. Few satellites flying over here to be picking up those boots as well. <laughs> what a boys, the ball goes through. It's Deegan on the ball. Kieran Deegan. No oh, one off the line back line. of referee Castro. Couldn't get out of the way. So this will be a drop ball. 
New Plymouth to receive. Oh, good work. Kovalin getting in the way. Kovalin looking. He's going to have a shot with the left foot. Takes a deflection, sits up nicely for Tyler Bork and the New Plymouth goal. Low drop kick. Good length on that. And work on the far side. Button dark in there for Hamilton Boys. That's, great, That's great strength being shown. Big long ball. Looked away by Fear. That's Jack Miles in the number six jersey. Wisniewski. Back coming forward again. Kivalin. Wide ball across ball for thought. Williams. Good first touch. Right foot. Foot in the way though by Flood. He's done well. Fear over the top. Gets the ball back. And again, it's this man. Kivalin on the ball. Is the Kivalin on to the left foot? Oh, that is beautiful. What a shot from the Solomon Islander. Oh, that is good. And New Plymouth concede their first goal of the tournament. And what a strike. Leslie Kivalin. Hamilton Boys High School 1. New Plymouth 0. Oh, talk us through this, Alice. That was sweet. That's the first yes. miss that they had. You can't can... really hit a ball better than that from that sort of distance. Exactly what you want to want to see. The ball floating up over the keeper's head. There's not a lot the keeper can really do uh, when it's hit like that. So the first try. The 25th minute of this game. And it is Leslie Kivelin giving the six times champions the early lead. By a goal to nil. A little psychological challenge here for New Plymouth boys, as we were saying. They'd gone four and a quarter games without conceding a goal. Now, can they bounce back? Sambleton boys high. That's a nice ball. Right idea. Williams, though, couldn't get onto the end of that. You could see what they were trying to do and get him in behind. An early start by Hamilton Boys High School, as I said, six time winners of this tournament, which was first played. Here's the strike again. Hit it goes ethically. Yeah, just lovely. Not a whole lot Tyler Bork could do about that. It's 1 0 on the ball for Plymouth. Who's the goal scorer? Kivalin. Notice as well the the arms across the chest. I'm wondering if that's maybe a, a little bit of a reference to Chadwick Boson, the actor that played back Panther. I wonder if it's a little bit of acknowledgement to him from a, a fan in New Zealand. Tragic passing of that very talented young man. The Plymouth with the <laughs> throw in and they're being pushed back significantly where you see the throw in about to be taken and they're trying to take it the other side of halfway and referee Castro was having none of that here comes Hamilton again getting in there is Ben Will positivity of play wanting to press and try and get some bodies for we, we didn't see it as much from Hastings in the earlier game but when the opportunities arise they did want to get bodies forward yeah. we're seeing this again as Continue to cause there. hassle. This is Adam. We'll head it away to the edge of the penalty box. And there is Stenning. It's taken away by Hamilton. If it goes to Brown. Nice little angle. As they continue to work, Flood gets the foot in. Stenning again trying to work his way through, but there's the Hamilton boys high. Skipper sliding in. Now Luke Stenning and Campbell Brown. Flood. Finds Wano. Oscar trying to work his way through. And 
Yeah. Good work by Brown. It's good Lano comes well. back. That's good. Good tussle for the ball. And it ends up with a lot of throw in for <laughs> Hamilton boys. Nodded on nicely. That was Hughes. That's going to be the Plymouth boys. Flood again. Got that ball over. That's now on the feet there of Deacon. Flood under a bit of pressure here from Williams. That's good pressing there. Williams gets that ball back. Deegan in there, had to have a couple of goes really at it. Well. Flood comes back and helps too. That's good defending as a group. He's got himself in a little bit of a tangle. It's nice work. There's Jack Flood who came back to help out his centre back really nicely. Hey, hey. Brown's going to come back to fear. Hamish puts it on the right, pumps that one through. Kivalin again, lurking with intent. Standing tries to come down with the ball. Brown gets in there, though, and punches it away. Hard contact. That's why you wish him, Pete, young fella. <laughs> and yellow cards. To Ooh, he's gone down as well. Caden Butendark did get him. Maybe it caught him more above the knee. I thought it got him just on the, on the shin. Of course, it's well protected, but a yellow card has been handed out to Caden Boot and Dark. And the Fizzo will come on and just check things out. Water break for Hamilton, boys. Away and get a few instructions from Coach Stu Foy as well. You know, Plymouth doing exactly the same. Over and getting a bit of. Fluid into them. Just looking here. It looks as though where that ice pack is, it's just just in that little gap where the shin pads stop and just below the, the knee. So just caught there. So Castro says, all right, you can get up. Let's get back into it. Two teams come back from their drinks break. Per se. Need it on a day like today. Oh, there's, I say, just beautiful again. Even more of that cloud is now burnt off, and there's just the odd puff just away to either end of the Rotorua International Stadium. So this is the grand final of the Super 8 football tournament presented by Sky Sport Next. 1 0. Hamilton Boys High with the advantage. As we're inside the final 10 minutes of the first half. Like working down this left-hand side, Williams trying to get him behind, but Flood equal to that. Here's Wano on the ball, stinning, beaten to that ball by Campbell Brown. And you see Kieran Deegan marshalling his defence. I'm sure to Ben Wilson. And Wilson moves down that left-wing side. And looking to punch that ball through, finds Manning. That's a good Great ball. There. Numbers in. Wano. I think he was almost come off Hamilton, a shot boys. There. It's going to be a, pin, a uh, corner kick. That's good by New Plymouth. There's another good opportunity. Can they get themselves back on level terms before the break? Seeing the goal to Leslie Kivalin after 25 minutes. Nice and high. Here comes Jamison. He claims that nicely, does Connor. Then a good outlet throw. Looking for Adam. Good to play that one, did Wilson, who'd come across from the left wing side. Or the left side in the centre back position. Brown wants his mark. Here it is. 
Long throw looking for Williams. It's picked away. Ball Ball comes back. Oh, I just need to move a bit, hustle a bit there. Yeah, and it feel like gets no back really nicely. For it. Yeah, there wasn't much of a reaction. <laughs> was Nesky. Pass it goes out, so a throw in for New Plymouth. They seem to have had the best opportunities created of being down that left hand side. Yeah. The likes of Scott Manning. That man Manning, they were trying to get, get the ball too, but hunting through, can they keep the ball in play? No, not no, quite. they can't. Good work and very organised back four for Hamilton boys. Wano on the ball. Little overhead. Manning chests it down. And then it's a great tackle was there. Nesky. And he's even got the throw in again. Comes up. Helps him up. Says, you're right, brother. Yep. And off they go. Get ready to battle once again. Here he is. Blake Wisniewski. Good throw. Not taken by New Plymouth. Bit of time on the ball here for O'Halloran. And it's going to be a yellow card as well. Not too happy about that one. So that is Ethan O'Halloran. He goes into the book. So yellow cards for Burton Dark for Hamilton Boys and Ethan O'Halloran for New Plymouth. As we close in on half time, Fear just decides to go short. There's a lot of space in the middle of the park at the moment. Everyone wants to attack down the wings. It's a nice ball, Button Dark. Another opportunity, Hamilton boys driven across. Good work, Deegan, getting that ball away. Wilson, ping-ponging away. Still not really clearing danger here, New Plymouth. Flood gets in there, gets his foot on it, and he finds Wana. Outlet on the left. Oh, not when you get this, the ball taken off you like that. That's great defending. Here's an opportunity, Adam. Abdi looking to try and set up the left foot. Gets the shot in, but it's blocked. Pushed away. In space. Bit dark again. Wilson's come forward and picked that off nicely. Could be a chance for a counter-attack here. A lot Down of numbers forward. Minute. Yeah, Wilson still going. Great searching still run. Going. Still going. It's that man, Wisniewski, that had to come across. Great run by Ben Wilson, though. The defenders come together and now Ben retreats. And he'll let the midfield and the strikers do their business for New Plymouth. Down a goal. Comes, has a shot. Rebounding. And forward flood. Great work here. Stenning oh, again. Gets that across. They need to clear it. It's not going out. Ooh. Jamison comes. That's fallen. The keeper. Oh, Halloran. Oh, Where's that ball off the, off the... Oh, wow. Jeez. <laughs> Bit of ping pong in the box there. I just sort of looked at it and it bounced up and I think it even caught the crossbar yeah. before it found Connor Jamison's hands. Kivalin trying to find Williams. Does so. Nice work by Flood. This is a great wee battle. Dylan Williams for Hamilton Boys and Jack Flood. For New Plymouth, great we battle down this left-hand side of the attack. It's McCracken cutting back, looking, Quiet. just over, hit that one again, did Kynan. So not far away from half-time. Let's have a look at it. It's punch clear, fell, and just, oh, just, just left. <laughs> just about... Leveled it up. So everyone just sort of stared and looked. And <laughs> Wano on the ball. It's a good play there. It's back to Deegan. Brown gets the foot in. Yep. Takes the ball. Out of play. And 
Here he is, the captain. Flood finds Wano. Goes back to Flood. And through a Halloran coming to help out. It's good pressing there. Deegan pushes forward. Adam gets More the foot in. Kibbelin. We've already seen that left foot. They know how Knock one it into is. the back of the net. You can see he was trying to set up for it. Confidence levels high from Leslie. Standing. O'Halloran. Working down. Here's Wano right hand side. Brown shadowing him. It's the foot in nice. They actually know it was Hamish Fear who had come across. Campbell Brown and referee Castro having a wee chat. A bit of a long throw coming. Final moments of the first half. Hamilton boys with the advantage for that goal to Leslie Kivelin. Flood. Wano. Campbell gets in there. Campbell Brown, the skipper. As Hamilton looked to break. Hughes. Kivelin. Down that right hand side. Looking. Will he look to switch back again? Step over. Comes back. Left foot. Oh, that just... one over the crossbar. I think he just lost his footing in the last last moments there. And it was the last moment of the first half. But it is the man you see on screen. Leslie Kivelin getting the hug there from Abdi Adam. And the number seven with the goal after 25 minutes. They give Hamilton Boys High School a 1-0 lead in this grand final of the Super 8 football tournament presented by Sky Sport Next. And... I think it's fair to say, when you think about the opportunities that they created, Hamilton, it's, it's a deserved 1-0 lead. Yeah. They did create more and probably did a little bit more with the ball that they had. Alice, yeah. is that a fair assessment? Yeah, definitely. The, the biggest thing that stood out to me from this Hamilton team is how fit they are. Everyone, as soon as the ball is uh, not in their position, they're pressing for that ball and they want it back. And even attacking their strikers, I've noticed the three of them are swapping from left to right the whole time and dropping in. And it, it makes it very hard for New Plymouth to play against us when you've got a team that's so fit and so keen to keep that ball. It's so hard to, to play around that. Uh, but just on the other side, even then, um, the new Plymouth team coming forward have noticed that they've been switching and it changes the game up for a centre-back when you've got strikers and wingers swapping around because everyone brings a different sort of game and, and aspect to what they play. So we're at half-time. Alice Bradmore, by the way, former captain of the Rotorua Boys High School First eleven, providing the uh, expert analysis for us earlier today. Alice was pretty chuffed with the result in the game for five and six. It was a win for Rotorua over Hastings by scoreline of one goal to nil. You can see Hamilton boys high and their coach Simon Foy. I'm sure pretty happy with what he's seen from his group in the opening 40 minutes. A reminder that it's 40 minute halves for the final. It was 35 for the 5th and 6th playoff this morning but 40 minutes for the final and if we are tied at the end of regulation it will be 10 minutes of extra time. Sorry, 10 each way, I should say, of extra time. And if we are all still even Stevens after that, penalty shootout will be in force. And we've already seen a one penalty shootout today, as I said earlier, in the playoff before uh, seventh and eighth. Everyone loves a good play, uh, penalty shootout. Well, does everyone? I mean, the players <laughs> not so much, but uh, I know definitely watching them, I love watching penalty uh, shootouts. I mean, it's it's... <laughs> It's sporting theatre, I think, at its at its absolute highest. It's yeah. like a sh it's a Shakespearean tragedy on turf. Yeah, those sort of things. Um, and as as I say, a very poor goalkeeper back in the day, but having had to be involved <laughs> in one of those, I still think it's one of the loneliest places in all of sport is to be a goalkeeper <laughs> in a penalty shootout. Yeah, definitely. I was always terrible at taking penalties. <laughs> so at the moment, as we see. That's an example, just an absolutely stunning day. It was, you wouldn't have thought that there was just rain and grey cloud all yesterday evening. With rain falling down, the, the turf, as you can see, this lovely panning shot coming from our crew. Turf is in brilliant condition. Oh, there you go. Have some of that. Rotorua just showing off. As I say, this 
is uh, quite a prestigious tournament, the eight teams. As I say, only the five, though, that won it. And you're looking at two teams that have won plenty of times. This team here has actually won six. If they were to win today, if they could hold that advantage, Hamilton Boys High School would move to seven Super 8 titles. New Plymouth Boys High School trying to win their third and trying to overcome the disappointment of being beaten in last year's final. And they were beaten well 4-0 by Tauranga Boys College. McCurry and Adrian Wright. The coaches, very animated. He's got a lot to say. He's got a lot to say. And he's using his entire body to say it a little bit more sedate, a bit more calmer delivery coming from Simon Foy and his coaching crew. Very mellow. If I ever laid down during the middle of a team <laughs> hustle, the old coach would have had a piece of me. There you see the playoff for third and fourth, and there you go, a goal. Tauranga boys. Tauranga boys with the goal there. It's going up against Palmerston North Boys High School. Tauranga, the defending champions, they've won the title four times, the most recent last year where they beat New Plymouth in the final 4-0. Palmer's North Boys High School. Seven titles. Had a great run. Early 2000s where they won four on the trot. You see, you go back to the New Plymouth huddle. Very contrasting pitches. So... Just watch the final moments, not too far away. See Stuart Hackney, the manager, sitting there on the bench. He's quite comfy. Really relaxed. Very relaxed. Actually, that might not be Stuart. Excuse me. I think that's Stuart standing, sorry, in the tracksuit and the cap. So 40 minutes left in this particular game. As I say, if we're tied at the end of 40, we go to extra time. So if you are... New Plymouth Boys High School, when you have been able to push forward, you've got some good change. Are there any adjustments, though, that you would think, based on the way, look, a very strong back four of Hamilton Boys, as you say, very yeah. fit, very organised. We were told about this young fella, um, Blake was uh, was Nesky, but look, Hamish Fair, Campbell Brown, the captain, it's a really rock-solid back unit they've yeah. got. So how do you go about breaking that? Go go back to your old striking days <laughs> yeah. for us. What, what's the key to trying to break down something that is so well-organised and so well-drilled? Um, well, I mean, Hamilton have showed them long shots. Um, the keepers, as we've seen, has come off his line quite a few times, um, and New Plymouth haven't quite explored that yet, haven't taken any long shots that I've seen. Um, they are playing a four at the top, which means they're having two in the centre mid. So if I was them, sometimes I'd be looking to drop one striker in, and he's just got that space there in the centre just to take that long shot if he needs it, you know. It's it's just always nice to put that shot on the goal from the long way and then it puts the keeper on his toes because, you know, he's then second-guessing himself on whether it comes out or not. So there's our, our officials. It's Andres Castro in the middle. To the left there is Levi Andrick on the right. Turpa White. Just picking up the Lotto ball. And again, we do have to say a big thank you to Lotto, associate sponsor of this Super 8, presented by Sky Sport Next. Lotto ball being used. Here's our referee. Gets the ball back to Abdi Adams. And it'll be Abdi who gets us underway. Right. Hamilton with the goal advantage. You see them playing from left to right on your screen. 40 minutes left in this tournament. Maybe. You just never know. As the sun continues to sign. There is Connor Jamison. A couple of heart and mouth moments in the first half. And here comes Kivalin, who now switches to the left side. Fantastic Saw him operating well. down that right-hand side. And here he comes again with a bit of shake and bake. Gets it across. Shot by Button Dark wide. Can't quite keep it down. Oh, he's got some delightful skills. Does Leslie Kivill, and there is Caden Buttendark. And to the referee's book in the first half. An opportunity there, and gee, that would have been a cracking start to the second half for Hamilton Boys. 
Got the ball, just going to go short, gives it to Ben Wilson. Adams comes up, hustling a little bit, and then just driven forward. It's a good long ball. Great header. Wozniewski, the clearing header. Lie throw in, coming for New Plymouth. Get that to the feet of Wano. No. Frustrated, actually, excuse me, that wasn't Wano, it was Zach Young trying to get the ball at his feet for New Plymouth. Long ball. Come down and pushed forward once again. Fear coming through with a strong header. A little bit of aerial ping pong. Fear is just going to push that one out. Throw in New Plymouth. Wano looking to come to the ball. Oscar gets it nicely. One, two, three to needle. Can't do it. Kevin on him. It's good defending. It's the foot in. Just won't let him have the ball. So flood. Ball in hand. Looking. Gets a movement, comes in the form of Stenning. Flood gets it back. Stenning once again as Plymouth forced to go back. Tights in front line are relentless. Might not have the ball. Wilson comes back to him. Nice ball to midfield. Finn McCauley on the ball. A lot of numbers back. Excuse me, that's from. actually Ben Sheridan. It's a six, not an eight. They're coming across. Nicely is Brown. Bit of a miscue by Hughes. Cleared away. The second attempt. Good little period to start the second half, though, for New Plymouth. Down in Hamilton Territory. Wano. Across from Flood. Nodded on, trying to flick that over. There's Nesky, Blake battling away, just Good fight there. shoves the player off, and away comes Wisniewski. Tries to thread that ball through for Adam, but can't. Cut out nicely by Wilson. The ball, that's O'Halloran. That's a good ball for Manning. First time in. Comes into the foot, Ethan O'Halloran. Locked by the block. Hamilton defender. And just clearing that one. Hustling can't keep the ball in. That's nice play by New Plymouth. That'll yeah. definitely give them a nice little confidence boost. Yeah, it's always nice to come out in the second half and have the ball and your opposition's a half and, you, you know, not have on the back foot at all. Wano, nice ball through for Brown. Tries to get it across. Good sliding save and it's going to be a corner kick. Jamison. Jack Flood's come across to take this one. Thanks. The penalty box. There's three players just at the back. Here they come in now. Flying through. Air swings. Very About four there. of them. Three by the attacker and one by the goalie. They're saying it's actually going to be a corner kick. This new Plymouth team are very strong in the air as well. They've got some very big players, especially number four from the centre-back. Yeah, Kieran Deegan is a big, strong lad. Looks like he'd stand probably around about a metre 95. That's him putting the hand up. Away. Wisniewski comes charging after it gets the ball, That's then fantastic. turns it in. Here's Kivalin. Good turn. Dancing through. Coming forward. Williams. Lost that ball. Wilson. That's kept great defending. He's kept it in too. Caden Rogers and Jersey 18. Kivalin. Continue to work. Adam. Abdi twisting, turning. Go back to Hughes. Hughes to Kivalin. 
He gets on that left foot. There's a shot. Ball gets down really nicely. Body behind the ball. And a great throw on the back of it as well to Wilson. Some nice space out here. Cuts back inside. It's for the option. Sheridan. There's lots of space there. Flood. He likes to push forward. There's Stenning. Sweeps it back across. Fear gets the foot in. And they'll build again. Clearance. O'Halloran can't quite control it. And once again, New Plymouth will just look to build. So with the ball, Halloran in amongst it. And it forces Hamish Fear to put that ball out. He's opening up a touch. Can I say just a touch. That's Gawano. Always the target. Touch, looks to turn. He puts the ball in. It's cleared away by the Hamilton defence. Sheridan and Hughes for the challenge. The unit feels to Kivalin. Pushing it back. And forward. Here's Dylan Williams. That's a nice space out here. Puts their ball Adams behind. Trying to flick that one in behind. Wilson was waiting. He looks to drive away. Punches that ball through. Picked off. Still just keeps going, Ben. And controls. It's this is a forward. great surge from the man from the back. Lays this one away. Ethan O'Halloran that's forces a great save out of Connor Jamison. Well, that's save lovely. There. That's lovely football from New Plymouth. That's, that's really well. The drive from all the way back in his own half up to the edge of the box and just plays a nice positive ball into the centre of the field for the players to run onto and hit it first time. You see the back end of this run from Wilson. O'Halloran. It's a fantastic shot as well. Yeah, flood to whip this ball in again. Jamison goes, bodies at the back. Connor comes out, he's got his mitts on it. Ooh. Oh, I was thinking I could just about release Leslie down the left there, but it's that old kick. Comes at the foot. Hamilton boys end up with it. It's a nice ball for Adam. They have this lovely skill. Kivalin down the left. Here's the goal scorer, the only goal of the final thus far. He scored it 25 minutes into the first half. It's a 1 0 advantage for Hamilton Boys High School. Well, we thought it would be a good one, and so far it has delivered. The climax of what's been three days of good, high-quality football. Hamilton. That's a great ball. ball. across. Leaning his back, and he's going to look to clear that. Is it through to the middle? It's great to see New Plymouth Sheridan. pushing forward. Well, there's plenty of space there, as you pointed yeah. out before. Heaps of space, and they've they've started pushing a lot more men forward into the into the um into that open space. Coming across, Guano turns. It's a great tackle again. Wisniewski. Wilson hustling back. Bork says, "I'll take it, thank you." Push this one. Sheridan. They look to work their way through the middle once again. Big searching ball for Manning off the chest. Touch. Can he get that one back? No. It's a lovely ball. Yeah. It takes a lot of skill to be able to switch a ball almost the whole length of a field. So to do that and have the accuracy on it is really good. Just on 10 minutes gone. 1 0 the advantage. Hamilton Boys High School. Leslie Kivalin with the goal. Lovely left footed strike. Outside the penalty box, over the top of the keeper. Delightful bit of skill. Nice. Throw in for... <laughs> Paul's gone down through the dugout. Yep, that's, that's gone to the tunnel. <laughs> Luckily, we got... Always good when you got a, uh, a sponsor in Lotto who do balls, and there's plenty of the Lotto balls lying around. So we're back into it. 
And I can tell you that the ball that went down the tunnel has been retrieved. It's a good touch there. O'Halloran and Wano, Oscar battling back once again. Kivalin wants to get to the outside. Looking at the options. Step overs. Can he rip that ball back? Still going, Leslie Kivalin. Is it back to Hughes on the edge of the penalty box? They continue to battle away. Play on, says referee Castro. Good tough football there. Still 11 minutes gone. 1 0. The ball comes back, and Connor Jamison. Just look at this. The pace slows down. Very brief pause. Kivlin being shadowed by Flood. Some good defending there. So there's a, there's a change coming by the looks here. There is. Substitution has been made. The new player on the field for you shortly. Flood. Shoving the back of Juan O. Let's take a quick here. So, ben Wilson trots across. Looks like they're going to... The Plymouth are very dangerous on these set pieces. Is that one in? Jamison out. The ball. Yep. That's very good advice. There is no point arguing with him. I don't know which player it was who said that, but that is a very learned young man. <laughs> The referee will not reverse their decision. Flood delivers. Halloran was arriving, but a Hamilton, he got in the way first. Back to Flood. Lifts it into the penalty oh, box once again. It's flicked on. Very oh, unlucky there. Hidden hands. Is that Kieran Deegan pushing forward, I think. Get a look at it on the replay. Nicely done by Flood, lifted in. Yes, it was. Kieran Deegan just couldn't get that first touch. He's got a lot of stamina, the boy. He's playing centre back, and I've seen him up there about three or four times now, right on the edge of the box. There's Sheridan with the header, goes out. Nice control by the coach, straight to the feet of the opposing captain. Campbell Brown. Finds the head of the new Plymouth defender. Back it goes. Williams. Oh, he's copped that one. And he goes down. Kivalin. Working. Gets that ball back across. Oscar Wano. Let's have a look at Dylan Williams. Who copped that ball to the face. He's headed to the Sideline. I wonder maybe that might have drawn a bit of blood. It was looking like a blow right to the nose. He's been subbed off. Gonna make some changes and two changes coming on. Off goes Caden Rogers. And there we see Ryan Hood coming on. In uh, shirt number three. Hamilton boys. Good defending. We'll just keep trying to get this to Leslie Kivelin. Adam comes. On it, holding it off. Trying to bend that one in. Just couldn't quite get around the ball. So, score remains 1-0. Hamilton Boys High School playing in the red.
comes Wilson. The Plymouth captain. It's good strength from behind there. O'Halloran. He's back and looking to try and work their way. Coming back to O'Halloran. Moves out to Stenning, working the right wing. Back to Flood. Stenning again. Nice ball back. Oh, knocking the ball around really well. Kevlin, though, just getting in, timing that nicely. Have the Adam. That's good defending. Go back to Tyler Bork. Long kick forward. We'll shadow that. All those Jamison the will come out. He'll just take his time. <laughs> you keep your uppies. I tell you what, I like this kid's style. <laughs> if I was his coach. He'd probably do my head on more than one occasion, <laughs> yeah. but I like his style. He must be one of those people that trains with the outfield players. He's got a, he's, <laughs> the there's a lovely it. free spiritedness <laughs> about him, which would be great unless you're either his parent or his coach. Here comes O'Halloran again, puts That's it onto the right shot. foot. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's a fantastic shot there off the dribble as well. I'm pretty sure Connor Jamison had it covered, but that's another great strike by Ethan O'Halloran. That's a great strike. Oof. Back we go. There is a fine hood trying to nod that one Ooh. on. A little bit messy. Wano. Wisniewski. Was going to argue, then thought better of it. Brown. Wano. Wisniewski on him. Getting in there, Brown. Hustling back. Good work. So looking to work away. Through Kalyan Guju, who's come on in jersey number 11. For Hamilton boys. Hood. There is Guju. Jersey number 11. Jersey 14 is Burton Dark. And he gives that ball away, and New Plymouth with an opportunity. Coming forward, Fear. That's lovely. <laughs> that was good work, and just clipped him up. That was super work. Let's see who that was. I catch the numbers. Here comes New Plymouth trying to go quickly. Down by a goal. Still plenty of time. Still got just on a quarter of this game still left. They've shown that they can score goals over the course of this tournament. It's Wilson. Put that ball up off Sheridan. Wano, great, great control. Touch. And it drives it back across. Oh, oh and Wisnes Wisneski had to get in. Kivelin, he's battling for the ball. Could you trying to get in there and get it? And they have. They've forced the turnover. Adam tries to get the ball for Kuju, but coming across. Nice cutout work by Flood. Kivelin on the ball again. Hughes was calling for it. Kivelin quite happy to take it. Goes back to his skipper. We'll go back to Brown. He was going to put a left-footed cross in. Hughes up. Good hit up. Really well to get up to that. Didn't quite get the power he wanted. And Bork takes it nicely and then drives a kick downfield. Can Stenning keep it in? No, he can't. You hear the chat coming through. Throw. Ooh. The cross. Oh, was Nesky for a bit of a flyer there. That's a great touch. Come again. O'Halloran coming in his hood. And away comes Hamilton boys. Could you? Nice tackle. 
Coming in from New Plymouth Boys. Hood. Wood and Dark flicks it over the top. It's Brown. Oops. Running to each other there. Sheridan needs some help. Let's flick through. Wano tries to get up. Wisniewski on that ball. Sheridan hustling for New Plymouth, trying to get it. Good battle, though. Hamilton boys come away with that one. Cool. Now an opportunity. Here's O'Halloran driving through once again. That is just smashed, and Tyler Bork will take that. Low. Got a great, That's a kick great drop kick. Wano. Can he get to it? Jamison. He's, he's outside well the box. <laughs> he gets rid of it nicely. He's done real well there to know that he's outside of his box and let go of it and move it's, his hands away. It is really good. Wano off the head. Still going. Go back to Sheridan. Across. Good press. Deegan gets that ball out wide. Here's Flood with the cross. That's nice and easy for Connor this time. Oh. He's going to kick. Hoof it out for a bit of attention, I think. There's a, a bit of an issue maybe for Hamish Fear, possibly. Yeah, That's the reason why he's done it. Don't want to get the coach on for a bit of medical. So, we have still on 18 minutes to play. It's still 1 0. Hamilton Boys High School. The goal scorer in the 25th minute was Leslie Kivelin. Seeing any good opportunities. That man, Connor Jamison, had a bit of work to do. I'm sure New Plymouth would like to give him a little bit more work to do. Here's Wilson driving forward once again. He's got a really nice going, Doesn't mind going for a. For a run, does Ben. Stenning can't keep that ball in, though. Hamilton can't really try and sort of play this one out. Still way too much time. And they do just look so much better when they are pushing forward, as Alice Bradmore, who's providing the expert analysis for us today, former Rotor of Boys High School, first 11 captain. Played in four Super 8 tournaments. As there's a change, off goes kind of McCracken. That's what you want from your subs coming on at this moment. You want plenty of voice, plenty of energy. Latham McGillie, the man who's come on in Jersey 12. Nice big kick up there. Oh, <laughs> Nicely handled by Deegan. Here's the can see a long shot here. Opportunity. Boot and dark. Kivalin. Dangerous left foot of Flair, his. Flood. He's done really done, well there to done defend very that. well, Jack. He's gonna have to get rid of it because Kivalin's coming back after him. Good you. He's on the ball now. Oh. And then Hood trying to run through and Killian is giving the ball that he really wanted Ryan to run down or to stay put. Long throw. Trying to flick that ball on with Zach Young. Sheridan hoofs it. Getting in there and across. Flood hustles after it. He's an industrious wee right back as Jack Flood. He's had plenty of work throughout this game. In fact, you'd say both number twos have been very good this game. Yeah, I mean, even all the fullbacks on both teams have been pushing up real high and it's it makes it really hard for the opposite team when you've got, you know, two wingers pushing at you. So it's been... You know, it's a great throw there. It's a very good throw. I mean, it's been just such a good week for New Zealand football, even before the Super 8 started. When you look at the likes of Nando Panica signing, yeah. one of the big Portuguese club, I think it's Rio Ave. Yeah. It's a good opportunity. Liberato Kukachi as well. It's fantastic to see him coming out of Rotorua and signing for them. Well, let's not forget as well, Michaela Moore signing for Liverpool. I know. They, Liverpool go all right. Yeah, not too bad, you know. 
Here's an opportunity. Another man who's been going to right's been O'Halloran. That's, That's a, great, a great, ball. great ball through for Young. Just can't quite Foot get to away it. again. Oh, he oh. looks like he's gone down heavy on that flag. He's up. He's up and trying to run it off, though. Comes Deegan trying to get the ball through. O'Halloran once again, pushing it wide for Stenning. Is it across? It's been blocked, so it'll be a corner. The penalty's got the second wind there. I think Zach Young's fine. It's the good thing about people of your age. You're made of rubber <laughs> still. <laughs> so Flood lifts that one in that's nice and high. It's a great ball. Cow! Over the top. Jeez, that's that was Deegan. Really nice. Kieran Deegan. Well, they're getting close. They're in and around it. Well, more around it. They'd like to get one in it. <laughs> New Plymouth boys. Time is just slowly starting to tick tock away. Inside the final quarter of an hour of this game. It's 2.40 minute halves. We will have extra time if need be. Jamison, quite connected with that one the way he would have liked to. Kivelin, who's just a threat every time he's on the ball, pushing it through to Adam. It's a great tackle. Yep. That's... Kieran Deegan again, you talk about his work rate, his aerobic capacity. He's got through a bucket load. You're seeing Flood running to give the ball to the opposition. Jack knows that there's time Cannot be wasted. Adam. Flicks that ball back. Dark flicks it across. Wisniewski. Puts the ball through. Bork's going to come through and take that. He's going to look to punt this one. Picked off by Campbell Brown. The ball again. Kivelin. Back to his skipper. Kivelin continues to run. It's a nice little surge forward from the skipper. Now working down the left-hand side, Campbell Brown. Got a lot of wheels. He's done really, really well. well. Got to the outside. Getting down. Just can't quite find that final ball. He's I think that was really captain well. on captain because I think it was Ben Wilson back making the save defensively. And here they drive forward. Sheridan. Could you get to him? Not before he can get a pass away. Flood again working forward. Wilson, as they come left-hand side now. Brown, going to put this one ball. in. It's a little bit too far. Jamison, take the time. It's Marcus Brown, pushing forward. Wilson traps that beautifully, but Abdi Adam was there to steal it off him. Wano, though, now he goes away. Oscar Wano pushing forward. Wisniewski in. Now another That's opportunity. A Here's thing. a good piece of play. And it requires some good defending as well. Finn Helberg it was. The 13 for New Plymouth. And we saw Ryan Hood have to come across. Sprinting into your screen was Jack Flood. There's the six-yard box. Stenning takes up station right beside Jamison. Be quite a dangerous corner, this one. Is it in? Jamison comes out, gets a good fist to it. Could you on it? Kalyan looking at his options. Wanting to go in and out. Or defended bodies in. Button Dark. Kivelin. Hamilton have it again with this goal advantage still intact. Just on 10 to play. Another change coming from New Plymouth boys. Up to five substitutes allowed. And a change also coming as well from Hamilton. It's Caden Buttendark who comes off. And it's Keenan Howard coming on in shirt 19.
It's kind of Jones that's come on for New Plymouth boys, but we'll confirm that for you shortly. Oh, bobbling around, but nice and calm from the skipper Wilson. And Brown. Got a bit of pace there. Coming across to us, could you? Brown, nice little there. ball in for O'Halloran. Brown continues the run. That's nice turn thing. by Hood. Pushes this one forward. Ooh. Wilson, Adam. That's a great tackle. And Wilson hustling back. Oscar Wano as well. Tracking back. Ooh. Pork, oh goodness gracious me. <laughs> Keenan Howard was lurking. Wano. Just to keep coming out here. This is Jones. Kynan Jones trying to get Quiet. that to Ethan O'Halloran. There's Tyler Bork. There's Connor Jamison. We saw one goal in our early game. The Rotorua Boys High School defeating Hastings Boys High by a goal to nil. We've just seen the one. 25 minute mark to Leslie Kivelin in this one. 1 0 the score to Hamilton Boys High School. See if I connect with that one again. And has come off New Plymouth Boys. Ryan Hood. Could you nods it on? Wilson just hacks it into the sky. But again, trying to flick it on. Brown comes forward. He nods it. He's saying he just got undercut slightly. Not much in that one, but called by referee Castro. I'm starting to see a lot of numbers flying forward now for New Plymouth. Wilson, hands up. And the referee just seeing something. Laying down the law. He knows what's at stake. He's got the wind behind him as well with his kick, so he got to be quite careful. Picked up there. Wilson flicks it in. Jamison, he's lost that one. Where's the ball? It's right there. It's off. It's, it's in. in. We have oh. an equaliser. That's a great play. And that's Kieran Deegan, is it? It's a big body. It is Kieran Deegan. Well... Another bit of ping pong around the box. It was indeed. It's paid off for them. That wind behind the ball, I think, has helped them quite a lot as well. But Hamilton got player down. All hacking around, in, down. Oh, I think the player was Hamish Fear. I think it was just an errant kick. But Kieran Deegan levels it up with just on seven to play. Concern here for Hamish. Well, 1 1. 1 all. Extra time now beacons. So it's going to be uh, very interesting. What have we got? Five minutes to go. It's going to be very interesting to see how both teams come out of this. Referee having a wee chat there. Tell you that the medical staff just continue to work on Hamish Fear. Latham McGalley was the man you heard firing them up. Castro. Right. 
Connor, I don't think, was happy with uh, the challenge, but you heard the referee explaining his decision. Hamish Fair is up. It's a pat on the back from his goalie as we head back to halfway. There's a couple of changes possibly coming here. The change has been made for New Plymouth boys. See the new man running onto the field now. Got a lot of numbers on that halfway line. I see quite a big push coming from them. Well. Abdi Adam. Kivalin. And away we go again with the score at one all. Punch that ball through was Brown. And so, New Plymouth. Tails up. Could they grab another one? Oscar Wano, the man who generally comes looking for the line out throw. O'Halloran. O'Halloran's been prominent there in the yellow boots. Some of the subs running after the wall. Ben Sheridan. He's been busy in midfield as well. Off the top looking. Wano trying to back Brown down. Good defending. Ooh, just Ball comes in. There. Now can Hamilton break? There is Kivalin with the touch. Good you on the ball. It's the way to Harris, it's but hard. hustling back. Comes Young. Hacked forward by Brown. So battling. Kivalin. Still going. Battling for the ball. Oh, here we go. In a dangerous position as well. Very dangerous position. See where. Let's see. There you are. There's six. Six in the box already for New Plymouth. Holding three back with Brown to deliver the ball. Oh, nodded away by Good Fear. Defender. Corner. As time tick-tocks away. Escobano's hey, going to go over and take it. Jack Flood may have been one of the players who've been substituted. It's a heck of a shift Jack put in as well. Well, gee, we could say that I think about most yeah, of the players that have most. taken to the field. Yeah. Everyone has really put some serious effort into this. Wano to deliver. It's high. Out comes Jamison again. He's gone down. Oh, not too sure about that one. Oscar, Oscar looking for a ball. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Connor looking for a ball. He's finally got it. They're away. Only minutes remaining in regulation. We'll push forward. It's Hamilton. good pressure there from this moment. Yeah, it's great. Even better to get out of there as well. Oh, Chevalin is being pressured, but that's when they won the ball. That's done illegally in the eyes of our referee. Here is Leslie Kivalin, whose goal in the 25th minute has been cancelled out by Kieran Deegan. Two teams drew nil all in pool play. Big long ball, searching ball. Goal scorer Deegan knocks it away. Kivalin tries to flick that ball but can't. New Plymouth. Here's O'Halloran. There's Nesky. It's the ball back. Net win for New Plymouth. Brown to the feet of Wano, or to his chest, I should say. Flicks it across nicely. Going to push it wide to Sheridan. Back to Deegan. Sheridan again. It's that ball across. Cleared away 
by McGilly. Very close to time added on. It's a great touch. Gets there. the ball to Wano. Searching in Oscar. Still turning, twisting. Ball gets crossed in. Jamison. Look, thought about maybe trying to release Kalyan Keju, but then decided I'll just go with the punt. Zach Young. It's been done. <laughs> Referee Castro. Just calm. Let's see. Plymouth bench, it's a big searching ball forward, nice trap. Here comes Shoes. Trying to get it to Kivalin. Over the top, and it sits at the back. Wisniewski. Miguel. Again to Wisniewski. Just about. With the ball taken off him, that ball goes over the top. Coming forward Ooh. is Bork. I thought for a moment there was a bit of confusion <laughs> with him and Deegan, but. That's a great touch there. Coming through. Is this one final opportunity for either side to steal in regulation? Oh. So Kelly puts the head there. Now, Hamilton boys. Still got three behind the ball, as you can see. Now they start to push forward a little bit. Get on the edge of the box. Wisniewski. Great ball. That's a super ball. That's Out comes ball. ball. Oh, it's around. Oh, oh it's a penalty. Oh, goodness gracious me. We are, according to my time, we are pretty much done. And it is a penalty. Tyler Bork. He's going to take the cap off. Leslie Kivelin scored a goal in the 25th. Opportunity. Penalty. This would win it. This would win the Super 8 title of 2020. For Hamilton Boys High. Kivalin v Bork. Great That's save. a great save. Super save. Well read. That's fantastic. I'm sure Kivalin would probably like the strike back, but well read by Tyler Bork. Well, coming through, Sheridan. Still time left. We did have some big injury breaks in the second half. What a feeling for that keeper. Wow. In the final moments of a Super 8 final when you save a penalty like that. Super. Super save. What a game. And unless something happens shortly, we're going to get more of it. Ball driven forward by Brown. Wano punches it back out. Pushing it. Gudju on it. Oh. He's got three. He's done really well there. Oh. Kalyan Gudju. Now O'Halloran. Back. Oh. Wisniewski. Oh, great tackle. Adam has that ball. That was Deegan getting rid of that. Brown. Come to Jones. That is the end of regulation time. We go to extras. And you can see just a little bit of the different body language. There's a real bounce. There's a real energy in the step of New Plymouth where Hamilton is walking, knowing that an opportunity there just went a big and so full time. One all. Hamilton Boys High School 
and New Plymouth Boys High School. And now, you spoke about fix fitness before, <laughs> yeah. Alice Breadmore. Yeah. Here things. comes a, a big... And the coaches have used a lot of their subs already. Yeah. So this will be interesting to see who's got that little bit more in the tank. Remembering it's not just about today. Yeah. There were two other days of yeah. football that got us to this particular <laughs> point as well. This, yeah. No, it's going to be important, especially from this New Plymouth team. Now they've, they've got that boost from the penalty that they've just saved. Um, I know especially when I was playing, if you had that sort of situation, you were very hyped up and you come out and you, you, you want that game. And for Hamilton, they'll be feeling very deflated, but it's up to the coach now to bring them back up through this game and get them pumping to come out into this extra time and hopefully grab a winner. So you see New Plymouth boys. There's the... <laughs> Someone on the phone. Is that no, that's Nigel Hotham that's on the phone <laughs> in the background waving. Get off your phone, <laughs> Nigel. He's, of course, a pretty good rugby coach as well. Coaches the Hamilton Boys High School First 15. I know he did a bit of coaching with Melville in the club competition for a while there. He commentated a game of rugby once. This might have been a super rugby game, actually, Nigel helped out with. Right now, he's just there, just helping, providing probably a little bit of assistance for Simon Foy and the coaching staff of Hamilton Boys, who find themselves now heading into extra time. So 10 minutes each way, and then at the conclusion of that, should the score remain even, we head to the penalty spot. Now you see the... Boys high school team just listening. No one laying down this time. Yep. And then over to New Plymouth, just making sure they're getting their fluid intake. So, whilst we are just in the second day of September, it's a lovely day. As you can see, just the stadium just absolutely drenched in sunshine. So, keeping the fluid intake up will be quite key. You see the officials. It's Levi Andrick on the left. So by White in the middle. And then your referee that you can see just facing you now. That's Andreas Castro. So a little bit of extra work as well. What a great conclusion to the Super 8. Presented by Sky Sport Next. Thanks as well also to our associate sponsor. They're also the company that has supplied the footballs being used. Match balls for this tournament, Lotto. Just being flicked up now, bounced a couple of times and placed on the spot, centre field. We get ready for extra time. If you are just joining us, so glad you're with us. My name's Nigel Yolden, Alice Breadmore, who is the former captain of Rotorua. Boys High School First 15, providing the expert analysis for us. I was turning up this morning just thinking he was standing in the sands <laughs> watching, doing a great job for us, and we greatly appreciate him giving up his time. Zach Young doing a bit of extra stretching. As we get set. And away. First period of extra time. The man who scored the equaliser. Kieran Deegan just hoofs it. To be fair, we've seen, for the most part, the, the intent, both in this game and the 5-6 and six playoff we saw this morning between Rotorua and Hastings. The intent was really trying to keep the, the ball at the feet. Try and play football. And they come driving forward through their captain, Campbell Brown. They being Hamilton Boys High School. They're wearing the red with the black shorts. Kalyan Kuju trying to get that ball across. It's going to be a throw it's good for start Hamilton from Boys. The Plymouth and the white. With the black stripes down the right side of the shirt and shorts. Brown. It's that one and looking for Kivalin. 
twisting, turning, forces the corner off the legs of Deegan. It's going to be Ryan Hood that's going to come across and take that for a minute. I thought Keenan Howard thought his number had been called, but no, it is Ryan Hood. Right back coming across. We've got the whole team back at the moment. Oh, one's well, coming forward now. Here's the delivery. Fuck that in. Hear the call of shot, out, yeah. out. It's a shot. It's wide. Took a deflection. So it's going to be another corner. Here's the man. That's Keenan Howard. Thought his role was take the corner, but his role was actually to have a shot on goal. The ball disappeared somewhere. Going to roll it all the way to the back. Yep. A new Plymouth substitute has trotted over to grab that ball while the new one has been delivered. Bree's just picking up. And in favour at the backs of Hamilton boys. It'll favour this ball swinging in a little bit to the back. Missed everybody. Down there. Hamish Fear, the man who got clattered during the goal that was scored. There he is, hobbling back. Gee, he's a tough <laughs> rooster, that fella. There's Ben Wilson. Punching that ball down the left side. Shoes. Kuju on the ball. No, that's Kivlin, excuse me. Here's Kuju. Trying to control. Can't. Sheridan. Just takes the safe play, there's Ben, and puts the ball out. This first um, half suits Hamilton quite well with that long ball, the, the wind behind them. So if they're going to use it, they need to go now. It's the second half, they're going to have the wind against them again. It's interesting, though. Hamilton, though, has looked better when they've had ball at feet as opposed to just hooping and hoping. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've thought both teams have looked really well with the ball at feet, and then Hamilton have played that over-the-top ball every time. Um, New Plymouth have played a lot more of a passing game. Adam trying to split the double team. Comes back to Brown. He's going to one-touch that, and that's all points. It's gone in. It's in! Oh. It? No, it's over the top. It is over the top. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh, goodness. I thought, no, I'm sure that it cleared the goal post. <laughs> Jeez. Bit of a Righty ho. motion there. We'll take a deep <laughs> breath. Our apologies. <laughs> That's not the way it settled. Here comes the clearance by Bork. It's been picked off again by Kalyan Kuju. Campbell Brown again becoming prominent as he works down this left wing side. Twisting, turning. That's a great move. Another penalty box. Wano flicks it away. Harris, though. A Hughes, I should say. Back and it's just flinging and getting it free. Wisniewski. Fear. Goodju with a nice turn. But well shadowed by New Plymouth. They let it roll out yeah, so they get the there. ball. It's really nice play. Right. It's Finn Helberg in the 13 jerseys. Nice throw in for Wano. Looking, Oscar. Beats a couple, run. still going. Oscar Wano. What a ball. Cut that back for O'Halloran. He's got it back. What a touch. Needed again. That's a fantastic touch there. Was Nesky. Wilson with a header that's been jumped upon by Howard. Working from that right hand side, still advancing. Comes back. Trying to get it to Kivalin. Ball has been taken away. Wano what comes forward. That's a great ball through. Zohalloran trying to get the ball across. No one oh. there. Great work by Ethan O'Halloran. It's great to see both teams attacking so strongly. It's exactly what we want to see in extra time. No one wants to go to that penalty shootout. Campbell Brown just. Taking a little bit of time, I'm sure, just getting a little bit of extra oxygen into the lungs. And he looks to throw. Adam 
trying to turn chair and he does so does Abdi. Ball punched down his left wing side. Hughes chasing after it. Also there as well is Wano. Wilson. Oscar's just, just going to hoof that one. Fear comes forward, punches it back. The two goal scorers come together. Brown trying to thread that ball through. Ooh. Can they get a touch? No, Fear still in there. He's been beaten up a bit, Hamish Fear, but gee, ticker personified. Wilson. Trying to get that ball forward. New Plymouth. Backing in. They got the ball. Oh. Must be saying that's actually against New Plymouth. Zach Young having a wee bit of a look. He's a bit perplexed. It's like, I've got the ball at my feet, sir, but nonetheless, decision made, and now we've got Tobias Hughes down. I think the players are definitely feeling that tournament body wear. Right. You're talking five games in two and a half days. Yeah, it demands a lot. And also to stay away from home is not the easiest thing as well. Fear with just a big ball, just straight to the hands of Bork, who handles it really nicely. Bork with that low drop punt onto the left-hand side. That's great distance into the breeze. Here's Kivalin. Yeah, Taking on Brown. Cuts back. Still going. Kivalin. Continues to try and create. What gets it across to Adam. Deacon gets tackle. the foot in and needed it. Abdi Adam, you'll go over. He'll apologise to Kieran Deegan. Plays with a nice spirit, that young man. We're away again. Uh, not from the spot. <laughs> 90 seconds to go in this opening 10 minute stanza. Wilson switches to that left hand side. Coming through. Wano on the ball. Again, they switch back towards that left. Brown's going to have to hustle to get this one in. Has he done oh, so? Oh, no, he hasn't. Both the assistant referee and the Hamilton Boys High School bench pretty adamant that that ball went over the line. Adam Kivlin again. A foul, and this time in favour of New Plymouth. So 1 0 the score. All in the first half of regulation to Leslie Kivlin. Cancelled out by Kieran Deegan, seven minutes from full time. Kivlin having his penalty shot saved by Tyler Bork. Good battle. Ooh. Continues. Fear. Ball is chipped up off the head of the advancing New Plymouth player. And it'll be a goal kick. As we are not too far from the end of this first period of extra time. So glad you're enjoying this particular game. It's been a belter. Super 8. It's a great ball. It's a very good ball, but there is Deegan. Here we go. That's the end of the first half. So there'll just be a very short turnaround chance to get a few more fluids into the body. Neither team really gaining an ascendancy in that huh? in that no. little 10 minute period, was it there? Was, it was nice to see both teams going forward, though. Um, no one wants that penalty shot, like I said. But yeah, for both teams to be having at least two clear shots on goal is really nice to see. Uh, it's going to be definitely interesting to see how they come out in the second half, whether they just go all guns blazing or if they sit back and they just, you know, take that penalty shootout. And you can just see it right, right down on the bottom of your screen there. You see how the flag is really now starting to, to bend over. It's been breezy, but nowhere near as strong um, as we're seeing at the moment with that particular flag really being bent. Yeah. And so that will be at the backs of New Plymouth in this... Second half of extra time. They played a nil-all draw in pool play. New Plymouth having 
beaten Hastings 2-0, Rotorua 6-0, nil all draw, and then they beat Palmerston North Boys High 1-0 in the semi-final yesterday. Hamilton boys with one all draw against Rotorua, nil all draw against their opponents today, and then won 5-0 against Hastings. They won their semi-final against last year's champions, Tauranga Boys College, 2-1 yesterday. So goal to Kivalin after 25, seven minutes from full time. Deegan with the goal. Penalty save right on the final whistle. One all. Ten minutes of extra time, done. We continue as we try and find a winner. In the Super 8 presented by Sky Sport next. Again, I'll be interested to see how these two teams approach it. I suspect, based on what we've seen, they will absolutely Keep hang it all out. I mean, they've got 10 minutes left of Super 8 footy for the whole year, and that's it. So, just got to go as hard as you can. Fear thumps that. That's holding up in that breeze, too. Teared away by Wilson. Lovely by Kivlin. He's cut back to the side. Working right. Go back. Miguel lets that one roll through for Wisniewski. Brown trying to find. You thought he had a bit more time, but he didn't. That gap was closed down. And Sheridan, I think it was, hustling. And he's done for the first 90 minutes. He continues to. Oh. And that's against Abdi Adam. Deegan. Big long ball. That's got the breeze behind it. There's Nesky. That's a good touch there. Put, put over the top. It's Helberg on the ball, trying to split, but there's Nesky. Has that gone over? Yes, it has. It'll be a goal kick. Good play by Blake. Back it goes to Connor Jamison. Nodded back. Oh, that's good head there. Climbing high. Oh. I don't think he quite meant to do that one. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think he did. He's got away with it, and he'll get an opportunity to atone by defending the corner. Again, a little heart palpitation. Yeah, there, there was Blake. Was Nisky saying, right, let's get on the big man. By the big man, they're meaning Kieran Deegan. Oscar Wano to deliver. Oh, one across. Yeah. Point blank, it's in. in. That's a goal. Fantastic. Oh. Two and a half minutes into extra time. Who got that one? Here it is. That's Kyan Jones getting the handshakes. Let's have a look at this one again. It's a great ball in. And even just wide up in the middle of the box. Wow. Three minutes and Jones. It's now 2-1. To New Plymouth boys. Oh. Just had a bit of a player slip here. It's Harris. So New Plymouth now with the advantage. Shows great resilience to come back from 1-0 down to bring yourselves up 2-1, especially in a final. There's still plenty of time, though, and we know that this Hamilton Boys High School team is more than capable. Long throw. Trying to get onto the ball. Hamish Fear continues to hustle. He's run himself to a standstill, the number four. For Hamilton Boys, he's been really thumped. Took a nasty blow. It looked like around the, the knee or thigh. Couldn't really get a decent look at it, but he seemed to be in some pain. Picked himself up. Still hustling for his team. 
two one now. The Plymouth Boys High School. They've won two titles. The first was in 2000. The second, 2015. They were beaten finalists last year. Beaten four nil by Tauranga Boys College. And they hold on, get that elusive third. Hamilton boys are trying to equal the record of Palms North Boys High School. Here is Fear. Push the ball away to Wisniewski. Hood wants the ball even wider right. Kivelin on the ball. Leslie looking at the options. Finds Adam. Adam trying to work his way through. Ben Wilson. Captain's knocked there, diving in and making the stop. Jamison comes well out of his box. Sweeper keeper. Comes across. Here's Fear. Drives a pass. Great He's trying ball. to get you down that left wing side. Hughes comes in. It's a way for New Plymouth. Fear again. Hamish Fear on the ball and driving forward. That's a great run here. Wants to cut more. He's oh. going to have a shot! Just didn't quite get the dip he wanted on that. Good surge forward, though, by the centre-back. Great run, though, yeah. I make it four minutes. Four minutes to go. Oh, thumps that. Oh, it's been nodded on. Chasing after that one, I think, is Young. Wisniewski's kept it in. Back it goes to Jones, the goal scorer. All comes through, Jamison. Won't want to muck around. Have to get rid of this. Good kick needed, and it is a good one. Kivelin. Oh, to get that one, bend that one around. <laughs> New Plymouth now are just Hold the ball. booting it as far <laughs> as humanly possible. Short. Fear. A lot of numbers forward now for Hamilton. Yeah. Nisky here touch. is Kivalin. Two men on him. They know how dangerous he is and they manage to get the ball off him. No Halloran. Gonna punch it through and run after it. Just to the Cutting across is McGalley. Brown there is Kivalin again. It's a good ball there. That's a super ball. Finds Adam. Good he turn. tries to turn. Brown. He's done well after Adam. Brown's done well coming back. Ooh. Kick. That was. Good work there is Abdi. He's the first goal scorer. Beside him, that's Kieran Deegan. Tyler Bork. Good strike. Nodded on by Wano. Oh, bit of a clash of heads there. Wisniewski goes down. He's back up again. <laughs> I'm just checking. Let's go, Blake. Look. Zach saying, you all right, Blake? And Blake's like, yep, I'm good. Ball situation, and here comes Hamilton boys. Time running out. Down to Deegan. Oh, headed away. O'Halloran flicks it on to Young. Great work, Fear. Hughes. Was Nesky. Oh, it's not on here. Tried to thread that ball through. Hustling as Wano. Was Nesky. Back to Jamison. Need to get that ball up. They don't want to be sitting in their own half. They put them against so hard for them to push out of their own half. The pressing that they've got. You'd think after a full a full game and then extra time they wouldn't well, have the legs to keep running, but they do. Here's the go. They take short they go short. Thought they might have just loaded the box. Kivalin. Could you working down that side? Far side of the field. 
Two men on him. Still Hamilton boys high ball. Kivelin gets it. It's a nice ball through. Brown. Still going is Campbell Brown, the skipper. Oh, Stops, loses his point. footing, gets back up again. Needs some support. Good you. Fear. Steps through. Hamish Fear still Fair going. Right. He's found Kivalin. No, that's Adam, excuse me. Campbell Brown wants to get to the baseline. Can he get it across? Do we have one more twist? No, it's over the baseline. Goal kick. Time all but up. All but up. New Plymouth boys. Tyler Bork is just going to try and put his foot right through the leather of that lotto ball. It's a great kick as well. It's a super kick. Hood turns. And Plymouth get it out. Hamilton has to get every single person up now. Hood takes it. Buano comes across, knocks it out. It'll be another throw. But this time a lot closer to the penalty area. And to Adam. Adam hustling. He gets to the baseline. Can he flick that ball back? Adam's gone down and a very strong challenge from Brown. Going down and checking on him. That's Ben Wilson. So a corner. What's our... What's our last twist? I'm exhausted. No, I'm doing <laughs> sitting here watching it, Alice. It is very hard. You just don't know what they can do. You've got every single person in the box from both teams. What do you do? <laughs> well, the only person that's not in the New Plymouth half at the moment is Connor Jamison. You think he'd be going up? <laughs> oh, you kind of thought you might do. The amount he's been running out. Campbell thought, Brown over the ball. Thought for sure he'd go Howard for over there. the ball. Brown's going to flick that one into the back post. And quite reached it. That's it. It's over. It's over. And your Super 8 champions of 2020 are New Plymouth Boys High School. They conceded the first goal. Scored with seven to go in regulation. Their goalkeeper saved a penalty on the stroke of the final whistle. And then three minutes into the second period of extra time, Kyan Jones has scrambled one home. And they have defeated a more than valiant Hamilton Boys High School. Fantastic effort from both teams. What a game of football, Alice. You go what a game of football. A whole tournament and you can produce that sort of stuff on the final on the final day. It's fantastic. Players down, you can see what it means to them. Players have run themselves to a standstill. Hamish Fear was battered and bruised. But just never stopped. You see. The camaraderie that we spoke about in both games being shown there. Oscar Wano down the coaches going over. It's been a super game, but it is a third title for New Plymouth Boys High School. Beaten last year in the final, Alice, by Tauranga Boys. Must be a really nice feeling oh, for them. It'd be fantastic. They go home after that last year's defeat and they'd be upset and they come back this year with that fight and the desire to win it and they've done it and you can you can see how much it means to all those players. The, the hugs are all around and everything like that. And even for the Hamilton boys, you can see that they they take it quite heavily, but they've done so well to get to the final. To make a final of a Super 8 tournament is not an easy feat at all. So well done to both teams. Our thanks to Alice Bradmore, who on short notice has come up and done 
Two pieces of uh, co-commentary for us here on Sky Sport next. Our thanks also to Lotto, the associate sponsor. We're just going to take a very short break. I'm going to hustle down pitch side. We'll get a couple of uh, post-match interviews before we wrap up our coverage here from the Rotorua International Stadium, New Plymouth. Boys High School, your Super 8 football champions of 2020. We'll be back with some post-match interviews shortly. Well, welcome back to Sky Sports Next coverage of the final of the Super 8 football tournament. With me, Ben Wilson, the captain of New Plymouth Boys High School. That's a, that's a big winning smile, mate. Given what happened last year, being beaten by Tauranga Boys College, how nice. I know there's a core group that was part of that. How nice to come back and get the victory this year. Yeah, it's just awesome. We've got our core group. Where our year group's been really strong for a few years, and it's just good to come back in our final year and finally get what we wanted. What was the thoughts when you conceded that early goal? It was a screamer of a goal, let's be honest, yeah. from Leslie. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, it's really rough early on, especially after we haven't conceded all tournament. Not really prepped for that after the previous games because we've been really solid at the back, and it's just it was hard to deal with. But you just got to pick it up and just make sure you make sure you keep your game flowing in as early on. So we've got plenty of time. Kieran got one back for you. What, yeah. what was your reaction though when Leslie was then lining up that kick with um, Tyler in goal? Oh yeah, I was yeah, crapping myself really. <laughs> um, he's really good with penalties last year in the second tournament, he's say four in a row, so it's pretty confident with him there. He's, yeah, he's really good with that, so really happy with him. Overall, the, the tournament, I mean, we saw some great spirit being shown by everybody here today. Just your experience of a, of a tournament like this and what it means for a footballer. Uh, it's just awesome, especially without Nationals this year, with everything going on, just to be able to have this Super 8 tournament. It's just what everyone looks forward to and what we've been working towards all year. And especially for us here today, being told that we're not allowed to have Nationals and Super 8 being being really iffy, but uh, it's really good to be out here and be able to get the win as well, definitely. All right, finally, well, you look at the camera on you, and I know that a lot of your fans haven't been able to, to travel with you. What's the message for, for the school and your fans back home in the neck? Yeah, thank you very much for supporting us and really happy to get the win for everybody, so thank you. Congratulations, well played. Thank you. That is Ben Wilson. He is the captain of Hamilton Boys High School, uh, oh, sorry, of uh, New Plymouth Boys High School. We've got uh, Cameron Brown who is the captain, he may be coming over to speak. I'm not going to force him to speak if he does not want to, though. Obviously, this has been a, a very big day for this particular group. You know, and in fact, I think it's probably the best thing that we will do is I think we will leave that there. We're not going to force the captain of Hamilton Boys High School to finish, uh, to do the post-match interview for us. We greatly appreciate all of the schools uh, for their participation. It's been an absolutely superb tournament. It has been wonderful, a wonderful final to complete, seeing two great games. We are so glad that you have joined us for Super 8 on Sky Sport Next. We give our thanks also as well to our associate sponsor, Lotto. Keep an eye on the Sky Sport YouTube channel. We've got plenty of great sports still to come, but on behalf of the team that has presented the final day of the Super 8 here at Rotorua International Stadium, this is Nigel Yolden wishing you a very good afternoon. <laughs>